All right, let's open up your GoBox Studio. So push down on those two red tabs and lift up the clasps to open it up. Now it's a little bit heavy, so be careful as you open it for the first time. Now to set up the light, you wanna support the light itself with one hand while you loosen that knob with the other. And when you have the light exactly where you want it, you just wanna tighten that knob up again and it's gonna lock into place kind of like magic. Do the same with the other side, supporting it with one hand, loosening the knob with the other, and then just positioning the light exactly where you want it as you tighten up that knob. Now for the camera, we wanna do the same thing, support the weight with one hand while loosening the knob with the other, and then bringing that camera to roughly around eye level is probably a great place to start so that you have a great perspective. Now once you're happy with the position, tighten up that knob and it's gonna lock into place. Let's remove this bubble wrap, especially if you're opening it for just the first time. All right, so over here we have some instruction manuals and warranties for all of the electronic components. Here is the battery for the camera that is attached to your kit. Here is the camera strap that you can use independently. And here is the lens hood and some lens caps, all stuff that came standard with the camera. Now next we have the battery charger for the camera itself. And uh, that's useful if you wanna use it standalone. Now next we have the audio peripherals for the Rode wireless microphone kit. So inside of here, there are some spare cables and we also have some dead cats. Now this is gonna reduce noise in a windy situation. So you can use that if you're outdoors. Over here we have the AC cable and we're gonna show you how to hook that up in just a second. Next, let's open up this protective flap and underneath we're gonna see these two wireless microphones. Now, these are gonna be able to get clipped to your shirt and it's gonna pick up your audio really great while you have the freedom to walk around. And these USB cables are gonna keep it charged at all times and the little clips are gonna make sure that they never get lost. Now, these are connected wirelessly to the receiver right there and you're gonna be able to monitor the sound levels by looking at the receiver. Let's have a look at these cables. This is a long USB-C cable and we have a short gray one. Now this short gray one, you're gonna notice has the number three on it with a lightning bolt icon. That's gonna go into your laptop and the other one is gonna go into your tablet or other device. Let's remove this protective flap for now so we can demonstrate the next step. Now we're gonna use the two aluminum support rods and put one end into this support bracket while the other end goes into the bracket on the other side. Now the same goes for the other aluminum rod and we're gonna put it in one side and then slot it in on the other side. Connecting the power is very straightforward. We're just gonna take this female PC cable and put it into the male jack and flip the switch. Now that the support rods are in place, we can set our laptop safely on top and open it up and we're ready to get cracking. Now, that cable that we brought earlier, the one with the number three on it, we're gonna plug that in and that's gonna connect us to the hub, which connects us to all of the other equipment in this kit. Now there's one more USB-C cable which will plug into your tablet and now the tablet becomes a new video source along with your main camera. Everything is hooked up now and you're ready to go. Let's remove the lens cap. Let's turn on this light and flip up the LCD monitor for the camera while turning on the switch and then turn on the secondary light. Now, just like that, everything is hooked up and you're ready to start streaming. What you're seeing on the computer screen is coming through that beautiful camera. Now, if I were to hit this button, then what happens is the iPad becomes the source. If I were to hit this button, then you're gonna see both uh, what's on the iPad and myself. Let's see what happens if we use some PowerPoints or Apple Keynote files for a presentation. You'll see that as I'm tapping the screen, it progresses through the slides and you can see my face simultaneously. That's pretty cool, right? Once I hit this button, I can make my face go away and you just have a lot of control over whatever you wanna do with your presentations.